Hey, what is going on you guys? It's Epic here and a new Redux update came out yesterday for Borderlands 3. Redux is a mod for those who don't know and today we're going to be going through the patch notes of the 1.3 update. But just before we start the video, don't forget to use code NNG at the advanced GG checkout to save yourself some money and help yourself switch to a cleaner, more sustainable form of energy. And with that being said, let's get right into it with the general changes. So firstly, added one new legacy hunt to track it down out in the Splinterlands. Next up, added in an immunity phase to scourge the Invincible Martyrs boss fight. For those of you who are unaware, before there was no immunity phases in the scourge boss fight, there is now one. Sped up the time it takes for Rampager to spawn its loot upon death. Removed various NPC crew challenge dialogue lines. Removed the cursed trees from the Valkyrie squad room in the Malawan takedown. I believe these were added somewhere around the mainframe update. I'm unsure about that one. And reduced the health of the DLC 2 final boss. Now moving into the balance changes, a pretty big and substantial one here. Lowered enemy health values on Mayhem 10. We have implemented this change in hopes that it will ease the scaling curve, preventing most lower tiered items from being outscaled at endgame. Values have been changed from 3000% to 2750%. And then next up, adjusted the mayhem level values to ensure that the climb from mayhem 1 to 10 feels smoother. And lastly, in the balance changes here, adjusted various enemy health values in the Malawan takedown. Now, moving into the loot changes, there's quite a few here, so bear with me. First of all, added three new weapons. And then next up, Parlesson and Contraband items now drop exclusively on Mayhem 10 they no longer drop on Mayhem levels 6 through 9. So a pretty substantial change there and a first for the Redux mod, you can only get pearls and contraband items now on Mayhem 10. Next up, adjusted various contraband dedicated drop rates. All contraband items now have a roughly 3% flat drop chance from their dedicated pools and the same for pearlescent, stating that adjusted pearlescent dedicated drop rates, all pearlescent items now have a roughly 5% flat drop chance from their dedicated pools. So a massive shake up there to the way pearls and contraband items drop in the Redux mod. Hopefully people see an improvement in the farming loop. Next up, adjusted Vermivorous's dedicated pool. They now drop the Becca and the Norfleet. Adjusted Wotan's dedicated drop pool. He now has a roughly 3% chance to drop a Pearlescent. Added a loot spawn pattern to Wotan the Invincible. Reverted the TD or nerf implemented by Gearbox on the 21st of the first 2021. Removed certain UI stats from item cards in order to clean them up a little. Moving on, made adjustments to the lob. It is now a three round burst shotgun. Additionally, the lob has had its fire rate buffed. Moving on, the Archon Primus has had its dedicated drop chance increased. The Dark Army's maximum drone count has been buffed. The Ion Laser, Florentine, Red Line, Juliet's Dazzle, Poly Amorous, Wedding Invitation, and Polybius have all had their weapon damage buffed. And briefly moving on here for the last of the loot changes, the Kill of the Wisp has had its weapon damage buffed, the Mother 2 has had its weapon damage and drone damage buffed, the Lamia's Curse and the Vitriolic Crux have both had their weapon damage nerfed, the Donk's Fire Rate has been nerfed, and the Double Anarchy will no longer spawn in the Veteran Rewards Machine. Now moving into character changes, there's only one for this hotfix and it's Flag's Rack Attack skill which has had its damage buffed. Moving into Bug fixes fixed a bug causing the spark plugs damage source to register as slide damage. This was a very, very, very popular exploit in Redux with the boar pearlescent assault rifle, but that exploit is no longer a thing now. You cannot exploit the boar with the spark plug. Fixed a bug causing players to sometimes crash when looking at vendors on various maps. And lastly, fixed an issue causing the stop gap to drop from the incorrect source. It now drops from the correct item pool. And lastly, for our notes today we have the vaulted gear which no longer drops in game as it's been replaced by the new gear and it's the hot drop the earworm and the super streamer but with that being said that's going to do it for the notes and today's video let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your support i really appreciate it guys and i'll see you all in the next one take it easy